y'all, welcome back to the channel again. This is American Dilly, and if you are listening to us on our podcasts or you are watching us on YouTube, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Support is going through the roof right now. We are well exceeded on 10,000 subscribers, and we keep growing, and that is a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. I am broadcasting to y'all live from the Dilly Saloon. I am back in the Dilly Saloon, as you can see if you're watching us on YouTube. We've had some renovations, and I'm very happy with it. If you're listening to us on podcasts, just trust that I am 100% comfortable in my environment right now and I'm about to talk to you guys today about one of the biggest stories that is hitting the headlines today. It is the biggest story. It is all people are talking about. And if you look at your social media feed, if you look at the news, if you look at anything out there that is an outlet, this is what they're talking about today. I don't know for the love of me why it is the only thing we are talking about because if you look at it it is a precedenting issue and you took two of the biggest stars out there in the world right now and you pitted them against each other and I smell a rat I smell a rat y'all and we're gonna jump in to reacting to what happened and that is just how it is man and I'm not gonna hold back I'm gonna tell y'all my 100% theory on everything. So before we jump into this, man, before we jump into this exciting thing that everybody is talking about, I wanted to just showcase some of the new Dilly merch, man. The Dilly merchandise that we have going, man. We have a website up now. You can buy t-shirts and stuff, okay? And we have different shirts. All of them pocket tees for the blue collar guys out there because I know blue collar guys love pocket tees where you can take your tidbits and store them right up in here. See that? Store them right up in there so it's easy access for you when you're working hard, when you're doing everything. And then uh, all of them with the Dilly logo. And then on the back, we got beautiful, beautiful pro-American things, man, because that's just how we are. That's how we're rocking. Oh, you can't see it. You can't see it. Look, for the people listening out on the podcast, man, if you look down in the description right now, you will be able to see where the store is. And you guys can go check these shirts out for yourself because, as I said, Beautiful shirts, man. Beautiful shirts being made by the people here at American Dilly. Okay, and all these orders will be put together. Look, I'm going to have something involved with it all. So anyway, we got this beautiful one right here. I like to call it America Sweetheart. Got Marilyn on there doing her thing. Why? Because Marilyn, Marilyn was the uh, America Sweetheart. So anyway, we got five designs right now. Y'all check them out. Y'all check them out. All shirts, 1776. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Go check the merch out. And with that being said, let's jump in to what we're talking about today. America, fuck you. Today, we're jumping into a reaction, a reaction to something that happened last night. And look, man, look, I don't like to get in. I don't really do. I don't watch them, okay? I do not watch these award shows, okay? But last night at the Oscars, apparently some craziness happened. I got a couple messages this morning saying, Dilly, you need to react to it. I seen a couple of my counterparts out there already react to it. So I watched a couple videos, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I watched what happened and I was like thinking to myself, now look, I'm gonna say something that, that, that <laughs> none of my counterparts out there is saying, okay? Because I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you guys, man. That's just how, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you know how I feel, but I watched that and I, I just, I smell, I smell a setup, bro. I smell a setup. Now we're gonna get into the clips, man. I'm gonna play the full clips. I got the unedited clips, man. We're gonna play, we're gonna play the incident and then we're gonna play the aftermath and just, I smell a setup, y'all. Now look, you, you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that this award show that nobody watches, people have stopped watching these award shows, man. The, the viewers, the ratings, all this stuff has gone downhill. Why has it gone downhill? Because nobody cares about watching elites, the elite, the elites in Hollywood, sit in a room and pat themselves on the back for things that they've already done. All they're doing is giving each other awards. See, the public doesn't vote for this stuff. They're voted on by their peers. So it is, it's legitimately a room full of rich people patting each other on the back saying, hey man, I really like what you did over there. And, and, and hey, I really like what you did over there. And that was, that was real, nice. no man, this stuff should be voted on by the people. When I was a kid and we watched like MTV Choice Awards and you know you could you could text in your vote or you could go online and submit your vote and it was exciting because people were voting. Nick Choice Awards where the kids would vote for it. That's exciting. But to watch an award show where it's an academy and we're only gonna, anyway, anyway, man, anyway, look, I smell a setup. 
the ratings were down. All of a sudden, an incident happens. We're going to look at the incident, man. Let's look. Let's let's look at the incident. And I, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, you're going to see what I'm saying, man. I smell a set up, a set up in the worst way because you had an incident happen at a show nobody cared to watch. Now today, that's all people are talking about. All people are talking about. And it's, it, it, it kind of disgusts me, man, when you really think about it. Let's jump in. Right here is, this is, this is the unedited footage, man. This right here is the unedited footage of the events leading up to the events. So let's jump into this, bro. I gotta say, it's really good. You got Chris Rock, man. Chris Rock is, is, is a legend, man. He's a classic. He has got him and his wife on both nominated. See this? If she loses, he can't win. You see this? He is praying that will that pledge my faith. You see this? Okay, first of all, right here, right here, he opened up his sketch. He opened up his, his, mind you, this is all scripted. They have rehearsed this. So don't think that he's up there just giving you basic knowledge that stuff you didn't know. No, no, no. This is all scripted. They've gone over this a couple of times. They know what he's going to say. So he's making fun of this gentleman and his wife. Hey, they're both nominated. If he wins, he can't win implying that you know happy wife happy life you know what i'm saying so so mm. okay all right but that's fine everybody laughs at that okay let's keep going i love you get out there and do can't wait to see it all right there it is right there you see that now look first he said he's praying for will smith to win now we're going over to will now, mind you, Will Smith's wife, they've gone through, she's she's gone through her health concerns or whatever. So, you know, she's she's lost her hair and it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. I'm not being unsympathetic, but Chris Rock is a comedian, an uncensored, funny comedian. He's been doing this for years. Okay. Pokes fun, makes fun. But, I love you. G.I. Jane too. Can't wait to see it. All right. A G.I. Jane joke. Okay. All right. I see it. <laughs> You could see, you could see on her face, she don't like it. You could see that. Will's laughing though. Will's laughing. You got mixed reviews in the crowd, but but remember, Mr. Smith is laughing at this joke. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. What? I'm out here. Oh, Richard. <laughs> okay, look at what we got here now. Look at what we got here now. You were laughing at the joke made on your wife. She didn't like it. She calm, cool, calm collective gets up out of his seat. I'm gonna take it back. Cool, calm collective gets out of his seat. Look at this. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you see this? Do you see this? What kind of person? Look, I just made fun of your wife. Now you've gotten up out of your seat and you have walked over to me. Chris Rock stands with his hands behind his back, leaning his head forward. You, what do you think the man's coming up to you to do? Give you a hug? Set up. That's stage. That's like wrestling. That looked like wrestling. Look at it. We're going to take a look at it one more time, man. Look at this. And he's just laughing. He's giggling the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Look. Classic walk up. Boom. And the reaction, oh, wow, wow. Will Smith didn't even hit him hard. Give him an open hand palm, open hand. If, you, if you're emotional, don't you think you're going to, and then just walks off and look at the stance. I'm sorry, I watch a lot of Will Smith movies, man. Look at the way he walks off, bro. He walking off like he did an Independence Day when they won. He's walking off like he does in all the movies when they win. Just watch, man. Look, this is the classic Men in Black walk right here. Look, boom. Wow. Uh, one hand on the belt, just. You know, wow, wow, which. Come on, man. Come on. This looks scripted. And then look at Chris Rock's reaction. He doesn't even do anything. Now, mind you, mind you, Will, you're wrong for this, okay? If this wasn't a setup, you're wrong for this. People can say whatever they want in the world, but don't put your hands on nobody. 
You're a star that children look up to. You telling people that that's all right for you to do this? Chris Rock kept his composure if that is what happened. But this is set up, man. This is this is all planned. This was ratings right here. Look. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Oh. <laughs> Will Smith just uh just uh just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> Calmly walks back to his chair, sits down, like nothing happened. Y'all don't have security in these events? Nobody met him at the bottom of the step like, excuse me, sir, uh, <laughs> we're not going to, that's not going to be happening in here, you know. Uh, nobody bothers him. Just sit back in the chair. Keep on watching, man. And then now we're going to have banter. Now we have banter back and forth. A scene, a skeptic. It, it, it's a spectacle. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. It was a G.I. Jane joke. I'm going to, okay? Wow. That's what I could. Wow. Way to compose yourself. Okay? And his reaction just totally. That's what I could. Okay. Okay. Alright. That was a greatest nightmare history. Yeah. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. Good idea. And that was the greatest night in uh, in uh, television. Hmm. Letting it be known. Letting it be known, man. This looks like I said. This look. This is a boost for ratings. This was a boost for ratings. What grown man lets another man walk right up on him, bow up on him, hand behind his back, leans forward, and just let somebody smack him? No, no grown man does that, man. No grown man does that. On top of that, what grown man? Gets up out of his chair in a room full of people, a room full of elites. You are among your peers, all on Mount Olympus. And you go assault another man? And then after the event, the, uh, nobody's pressing charges. Nobody's talking to anybody. Security never came in. <laughs> Something smells funny in Hollywood, man. Something smells funny in Hollywood. But you know what the repercussions for all this was, right? Will Smith went on to win Best actor. Best actor for his movie role. And look, we're going to look at his speech, man. We're going to look at his speech. Because it's a little, like I said, once again, once again, smelling something funny. Here we go, y'all. Oh, man. Uh, Richard Williams uh, was a fierce defender of his family. Hmm. So the movie role you just won Best Actor for, he was a fierce defender of his family who would do things, I don't know, like you just did, that are totally out of your character, but not out of the character of the person you're playing in the movie. I've thought about this, y'all. I put all this together in my brain, man. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. God's calling on you to walk up and smack another man for 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 a joke. He's a comedian. That's a, what comedians do. God's calling on you to do what you're doing. Okay, all right, we're gonna keep going. Making this film, I got to protect Angelou Ellis, who was one of the most the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect mm -mm -mm. Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. Now, that's all very nice, man, but you got to play a role where you pretended to be somebody else who had already done these things in their life. Their life. Also, this is the first time Will Smith has won this award. Coincidence? Coincidence, the night he makes the spectacle that brings the most ratings that this award show has had in years. He wins the prestigious award that he's never won in his career before. 
But you mean to tell me Will Smith, the man who did Pursuit of Happiness, never, never won this award? You mean to tell me Will Smith, the man who did I Am Legend, you know, the movie where he was the only actor besides a dog, has never won Best Actor? This guy's been doing it for eight. I grew up watching this guy. Hmm. Coincidence. Coincidence. That a that a, a prestigious academy full of rich, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be blunt with you guys, rich white people would use two African American celebrities to make a spectacle to get ratings for their show. When there is a, a, an abundance of African Americans out there right now preaching to stop black on black violence, this is the way y'all perceive it on your, your puppets. Puppets, man. And then you get to get up there and give this emotional speech. Y'all will keep hearing it, man. Y'all will keep hearing it. Puppets. I'm being called on in my life to love people. <laughs> and to protect. <laughs> to love people. <laughs> people. And to be a river to my people. <laughs> I'm being called on to love people, protect people, and be the river for my people. Meanwhile, I walk up and smack one of my peers in the face. For, for, for he's a comedian, man. Also, it was a scripted joke that y'all knew what he was going to say because you've rehearsed this. These shows are so rehearsed that when an actor gets up to go to the bathroom, they put a placeholder that looks like that person in the seat to make it look like they never left. So if the camera pans over, th these are oh, this is scripted. But you mean to tell me that, uh, what, what's he going to say next? I know we do what we do. You gotta be able to take abuse. You gotta be able to have hmm. people talk crazy about you. Hmm. In this business, you gotta be able to have people disrespecting you. Wow! Wow! You gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that. So, and this is this is this is an off the top speech. This is just something you didn't know you were gonna say. You didn't know what the events of the night were, right? Hmm. 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 Staged, my brother. Staged. You gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. so do we in the real world, bud. <laughs> but Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, B. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. <laughs> Why, uh, why does Denzel not look pleased about this? The, why were none of the reactions in the crowd that shocked, that surprised? You're in a room full of actors. Don't worry. I'm going to show. We're going to show. No apology, man. No apology whatsoever to Chris Rock for what he's doing, for what he did. But yet... To get up there and to, to have this prepared speech where you conveniently talk about events that happened in the night that you didn't know were going to happen. This is all staged, friends. This is all staged just so ratings could be picked up. And like I said, man, you've taken two A-list actors, okay, the comedian and the action star, the, the funny guy. Will Smith you, and Chris Rock, you've taken them and now you've made a spectacle out of them, all for ratings. Also, people will, this, I mean, look, that's all they're talking about when I was at the gym today. That's all that's on all the TVs in the gym. That's all that's there. My social media feed, that's all we're playing. All we're playing. Coincidence, I think not friends because that's what they do, man. That is, that, is, that is what they do. And you could tell that this was scripted because look, look, it wasn't even what, a year ago? Maybe a little over a year ago? Will Smith, you were on Oprah or whatever show that was, crying, crying because your wife cheated on you. 
your wife cheated on you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She didn't cheat. She had an entanglement with another man. Are you serious? Where was all that battle rah-rah then? Where was all that I'm going to defend my family and I'm going to smack a man then? Where was it? Let's just be 100% honest, guys. This is this is a full blown setup, man. And I and I I know some people are gonna be like, oh, Dilly, Dilly's being heartless. Dilly is being heartless. He went through a bad patch with his wife. And look, if my wife cheated on me, man, and admitted it to it, do you really think that we would be together? Really? And do you think I wouldn't have some sort of animosity towards the other man? A younger man too. <clears throat> Where was that battle rah rah then? Where was it? You crying? You were crying, but yet somebody makes fun. A, a, a comedian does what he does and makes fun and pulls a joke. And now you want to go smacking? What would you have done if the host was somebody different? What if the host was, I don't know, let's say Dwayne Johnson? You can walk up there and smack him for the same kind of joke. He's a bald man too. So he, 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 had, he had reference to make the joke. You gonna walk up and smack him? No. Well, if this wasn't a setup, you looked at somebody and said, mm, I could take him. You made that assessment. And in my eyes, that is a sissy, man. That's a sissy. You're not defending nothing. You ain't defending your family. What you're doing is you're trying to be a bully. That's what you're doing. You're doing, you're trying to make a spectacle. But ultimately what you were doing is playing the role. You were a puppet and you got rewarded for it by the Academy. You got rewarded for it for helping the ratings. Okay, and poor Mr. Chris Rock, look seriously, an open hand slap, an open hand slap that a man leaned in for? Come on, come on, man, I'm smelling the setup, man. I'm smelling a set up. And you can Google, man, you can Google these celebrities that were there and their reactions. Seriously, seriously. I'll put this one up on the screen. Dwayne Johnson. Come on, man. That's not, that's not surprised. Look at some of these other ones, man. That's not surprised. You got people laughing. Because it was all choreographed, man. It was all choreographed to go down the way it went down. And that, my friends, is what Hollywood does. That's what they do, man. That is what they do. So look, look, they look, people out there, everybody listening to me right now and stuff, y'all can say what you want, man. I know a lot of other reactors are having their own different feeds on it. You know, hey, if somebody talks bad about my wife, blah, 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 blah. He didn't talk bad about your wife. He didn't disrespect her. He made a joke. He made a joke. Okay? That's what he does. He made a joke about the guy before you's wife, too. About, about her not going to give him any when they get home. But, you get what I'm saying? But you didn't see that guy get up. Like I said, in the cool, calm, collective, no security, no nothing. Seriously? Seriously? Y'all don't have somebody there? I know you did. You ain't got somebody there that stops people from walking up on the stage when they're not supposed to? You assaulted the host of the show? <laughs> This is, hey, man, look, man, if y'all enjoyed this podcast, if y'all enjoyed this video, however y'all are viewing me on whatever platform, man, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. I really do. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. And I want to give a big shout out to the Dilly fam. And I also want to tell everybody out there, man, stay safe, bro. Stay safe. Love your friends. Love your family. Love your neighbors. But most of all, love yourself. If you don't love yourself, how are you going to radiate love out there and actually... <laughs> protect the people around you and actually be a good example for the little ones watching you or, or everybody, especially if you're in these platforms and people are actually watching you on different screens and things like that. That's just, it's just, I smell a rat, y'all. I smell a rat. But until next time, Dilly fam, I appreciate y'all coming to the new and improved Dilly Saloon. As you can see, we have had some renovations. We've been doing different things and I'm sorry I haven't been as active as I should be, but I've had a lot going on in my life, man. Beautiful things going on in my life. And so with that being said, until next time, friends, peace out, stay safe, and and, and just hey, guard your back. Because at any moment, somebody could walk up and smack you. <laughs> it's America.